Many of Hong Kong's landmark buildings reflect the former British territory's colonial past and rich Chinese culture. But as the city expands at breakneck speed, the debate about its loss of heritage sites is also growing. Hailing Chan has more. Skyscrapers are everywhere in Hong Kong. The bold symbols of the local urban lifestyle are a key part of the city's iconic skyline. But there's growing discontent over new property built at the expense of cultural heritage sites. In Hong Kong, we have never done any work to uh, preserve the local culture here. In the last uh, uh, recent years of uh, mass project development, that are you know, very uh, lopsided, leading to poverty development without uh, local community concern. It all began with Wedding Card Street an alley that was once home to dozens of shops selling traditional Chinese greeting cards. Now all that's left are abandoned homes and stores waiting to be demolished. The 50-year-old Star Ferry Pier faced the same threat a few months ago. But perhaps locals are most attached to the 70-year-old Bauhaus-style Wan Chai Market. This building has been labeled as a temporary market for decades. Its title allows the government to tear it down any time. Now plans to demolish the site have actually been drawn up. Vendors who make a living here are understandably angry. And while calls to preserve historic sites grow louder, the government hasn't done much but sponsor public forums, apparently to give dissenting voices a chance to air their grievances. We will be actively looking into ways uh, to improve and also to extend the consultative mechanism and the network of consultation of gathering public opinion. The government also says preservation is often too expensive to justify keeping old buildings of no monetary value. But conservationists argue it's worth preserving centuries-old sites that are being replaced by new development faster than authorities are coming up with better heritage policies. Hailing Chan, Star News Asia.